1950s when Patrick Ellis was a salon apprentice. He noticed that chemically loaded products were taking a serious toll on the hands of the hairdressers and the integrity of their clients' hair. Fascinated by nature, he decided to study the power of plants and the role they might play to reveal hair's natural beauty. In 1965, Patrick Ellis launched his own hair care brand along with the opening of his very own salon near the Champs-Élysées, where celebrities like Brigitte Bardot, Jackie Kennedy, or Catherine Deneuve enjoyed Fito's powerful and beautiful results. Fito, plants in Greek, was born. It was an instant smash, and the products became soon available throughout the world. Today, Fito continues to combine 50 years of botanical expertise with advanced plant science in our high-tech, dedicated laboratories in France. Our products have the highest concentration of pure plant extracts on today's beauty market. Our formulas are over 95% botanical and up to 100% with zero parabens, silicones, or harsh sulfates. This award-winning hair care line meets the expectations of the most demanding hairstylists and clients. Both sensuous and serious, Fito is the ultimate brand in luxury hair care. Fito, it's classic, chic, botanic. Hi everyone! Hi! Good evening! Good evening! Hi Chu! Poi Chu! Hi Poi Chu! Okay, so welcome to Fetal Hair Talk. I'm Lin Tan and so happy for you to be here with me today. Our topic today is about caring for colored hair. Yes! So after we spend time and money to get our colors done and our highlights done, we need to give it TLC, which is tender loving care. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about how we're gonna give TLC to our product, uh, to our hair after it's colored. It's very, very important. Hi, Li Qian. Hi, welcome. So this week is very special. You know why? Because it's a big birthday celebration, and it's Singapore who's celebrating our birthday. Singapore is going to turn 55 years old, and so it's so extra special. So this range we're going to talk about today is also red color, just like our Singapore flag. I'm quite patriotic, as you can see. Yeah, so because it's so special, we're not just giving away two or three items. We're giving away 20 sets of Fito worth $800 today. Yep, you heard me right because we want to celebrate our National Day and it's 55 years this year, we want to celebrate it with a big bang. So we're going to give away 20 sets of Fito products. Yeah. How to win? Very easy. Just like us right now. Like our Facebook page. Like our, our current live video, please. And share it on your social media. And tag five or more friends. It's five or more friends. And we'll pick five winners tonight and we'll pick the remaining 15 winners by next week. So you're like, huh? What? Why? Because we also hear our fans. You know, many of you cannot tune in to us live every time. You're not able to tune in right at the dot at 8 o'clock. Sometimes you cannot make it and then you missed out on all our giveaways. And we hear you. We hear your feedback. So for this time, for the first time, we are giving away prizes to you as well for all our guests who are not able to be with us currently live. And we will still want to give you a chance to win our goodies. So what are we giving? That's the key question, right? We are giving away two products. They're really cute. Look at that. Two, huh? not one, but you get two. You get a Phytomilism color locker. And you get a phytomelism color protection uh, shampoo. Yes, they're not the full size because the original um, size is like this. Yeah. But uh, the original shampoo is $65, uh, $45. And the color um, uh, and the, the color locker original size is like this. But it's still a good size. Nice travel size. And... It's worth $40 for these two products. You get a set just like this. So it's a color locker and a color shampoo. Perfect for people who have colored, treated, highlighted hair. So you highlight your hair like me or you have colored hair, you will need products like this. Okay. Hi, Samantha and hi, Yiming. 
nice for you to join us again. So, um, yes, very easy for you to win this product. Just simply like, tag, simply like, share, and tag five or more friends, and you can win this wonderful pair of products. Yeah, tell your friends to do the same. So we will check it, and then we'll announce the winners during our next week's hair talk. Hi. Hi, Jerome. Thanks for joining us. Mm. So today's topic, it's about colored hair. So any one of you who have colored hair, who wants to color your hair, planning to color your hair, I don't care whether you're platinum blonde, you're brunette, black, red, chocolate, pink, as long as you've done your hair, you colored it or highlighted it or bleached it, you need to take good care of it, right? Nothing is worse than after spending all this time and all the money in a nice, beautiful hair color, only to not take care of it and all the color fades away after a week or two. It's, uh, it's, it's such a waste of money if you can't take care of it, yeah? So today's topic is purely on how we're going to take care of our colored hair so you will not be sing tong and lose all the hair color, yeah? The radiant colors, right? So quickly, let me show you our hair anatomy, okay? If you look at our hair anatomy, you can see this is how each strand of hair looks like under the microscope. We have the medulla in the middle, we have the cortex around it, and then we have the hair cuticles protecting the cortex. And the hair cuticles, look at it, it's all these layers and layers of hair scales. Just think of it like fish scales, you know, like fish scales, yeah? So there's many, many, many layers of this hair scales that goes around the entire hair strand, protecting our hair, yeah? So this is how everyone's hair looks like, male, female, or long or short, okay? So very important for you to understand how our hair is. If you look at our next diagram, what happens to you when you color your hair, yeah? When you color your hair, uh, what happens if you use a temporary hair color like the top left, the top left diagram with the green? It's not very harmful. Why? Because the color pigments just stays on the surface. It stays on the exterior part of the cuticles. It stays on the exterior. It doesn't go inside and disturb the hair. Okay, it's very important. It stays on the outside, and that also means that it's temporary. It will not last. Meaning the colors will fade off after what? a few washes okay if you look at the right it's semi-permanent semi-permanent you need to lift up your hair cuticles a little bit and the colors will be on the outside and also a little bit in the inside of the hair cuticles so it's a little bit drying as well just imagine like 50 percent of the of the hair cuticles have to be lifted the hair scales and then the colors will be on the outside and the inside of the cortex so that's for semi-permanent color so it's a little bit drying for permanent hair colors, which we all like to use, so that our colors are permanent, right? We have to lift up all the hair cuticles and we change the color from the cortex. If you remember the first diagram, let's show the first diagram again. In order for us to change our hair color, our hair scales must be lifted and then we can change the color at the cortex area. If it stays on the cuticle, it's just a temporary hair color. Meaning when you wash off after one time, two time, there's no more color. So your color to be permanent, we have to go inside and change the color from within. It has to be changed at a cortex level. So you can imagine how many layers of cuticles you have to go through in order to change it, which also means how much damage the color is causing you, right? So let's go back to that diagram again. The fourth, the third one, as you can see, in order for the permanent color to get in, it only gets in, going inside the cuticles and, and it stays on the cortex of your hair to change the color. Of course, when you bleach it, it's totally submerged inside the cortex. It's not what at the cortex, it's right into the medulla where you remove all your color pigments to get it bleached out, to change it to pink, to make it white. You really get rid of all the pigments, so that's the most damaging of all. If you look at the next diagram, you can also see that if you did not color your hair, you know, your hair is very healthy looking, the, 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 um, it's very balanced, and the cuticles are all sealed. 
The second picture you can see, just with one hair color, just color once, right? Your hair cuticles are all lifted and it's weakened. The structure is already weakened, right? Because you're changing the color from within. Lastly, the last picture where you have it multiple times, you've colored your hair frequently, you color your hair frequently and you don't treat it very well. You don't do a lot of TLC to your hair. This is what's going to happen. All your cuticles are damaged and it will damage even the cortex. What will happen is lots of breakage. So these are bad things that would happen. And I've got 10 tips for you today. 10 very useful tips which I've gathered over the last 20 years. I've been coloring my hair since my poly days, you know. Secondary school cannot color hair, but uh, poly days can color hair. So since my poly days in Nian, I've been coloring my hair. Plus, I've always had uh, white hair since I was 15. So I used an excuse to color my hair. Okay. So I've got 20 years of experience coloring and highlighting and bleaching my hair. So I'd like to share with you 10 top tips that will really help you in managing and treating your hair. So tip number one. We need to prep our hair. Before you decide to go and do a hair color, please prepare your hair for it. What do I mean? Beforehand, maybe a week, two weeks before, please do treatment on your hair. Do hair oil treatments, do hair mask treatments. Really take care of it for a couple of weeks before you go and damage it with the hair coloring. This will really help you. Yeah. So things like using the uh, huidalus oil, the intense with the less oil. This, this product is fantastic. Why? One box has five ampules, and you can use one like right now to treat your hair a week, or you can do it once a week and you can do it twice before your coloring. And you can take one ampule to the salon and you tell the, uh, the stylist to break it in and mix it together with your hair color. And what it does is it protects your scalp. It protects your hair and it makes your hair very shiny with the colors because of the, the oil. This is a hair oil, but it's not an oil that suspends on water. It's 100% water-soluble oil. So it really goes into the hair and treats it from within. This is a very special product that was created in 1965 by our founder, Mr. Patrick Ellis. So it's called Hui Ellis, which is Ellis's oil. And... After your hair color is done, one week later, you can resume a hair treatment using this. Yeah, so you can go back to use this once a week again. So fantastic, right? One hair oil can use before color, during color, and after color. So, and let me show you how it's being used. It's so easy. Let's show the video. It's so easy. So let's talk about tip number two. Tip number two is if you're gonna do a hair color, please don't go and do the cheapest hair color you can find. When choosing a hair color, please choose the good quality hair color or bleach. Go for trusted brands that you know of in the market. You know, um, don't go for the cheapest in town because I really am very scared if you use some unknown brand that is made from unknown sources, where they use super high 
strong peroxide and it will really damage your hair. So I think if you're going to do your hair color, please go to a very reliable hair salon which uses good quality hair color brands, okay? So a tip I want you to know is when you go to a hair salon to color your hair, please ask them what's the level of the developer that you're using. You can start from as low as 10 volume and those these are very good for people who want to have dark color, dark touch up of the roots, dark colors. Um, 20, maybe you're going to go a bit lighter, like browns. And 30 could be like going for bronze, a little bit ash. But it's quite hard to achieve white hair or bleached hair with 30. You need to go 40 and above, but that's really damaging. So think twice. Or if you want to bleach your hair, please don't be greedy and do it all in one day. Bleach today. Yes, it looks orangey yellow. Go back a few days later after you treated your hair and do it again. Go back a few days later and do the third round. Don't be so gung-ho and do like three bleaching in one sitting. You may not go home with any hair. So let's try to spread it out, okay? So choose the right hair dyes for yourself. And if you're going to do your own DIY hacker, you're going to buy off the shelf, buy off the rack, then may I suggest finding one that has less harsh chemicals like Pito Hair Color. Pito Color is ammonia free. So you may want to consider a hair color like that, which uses botanical pigments. But today I won't talk too much about hair color. In fact, next week during our Pito Hair Talk, we will be talking about um, what hair colors will suit your skin tone best. So I know a lot of us Chinese or maybe you're Malay or Indians. Don't assume that all Chinese have the same skin tone and therefore all the Chinese will have the same hair colors that suit them. It's not true. So I'm going to teach you certain tips and tricks on how to find out what's your skin tone and what kind of colors will suit you best so you look brighter and prettier. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to share with you next week. Hi, Shireen. Hi, Ting Ting. Hi, Kim Lan. Hi, Annette Mango. Nice to see you again. Hi, Natasha. Is that Lin Tan? Yes, it's, it's Lin Tan. <laughs> okay, so moving along. Tip number three. After your color, please don't rush to wash your hair. If you can, leave, don't color your hair for two, preferably three days. Yes, I know it's very hard, especially Singapore, our weather, oh my God, but try to tahan three days, don't shampoo. Okay, as much as possible because then you really get the color to sink in and doesn't bleed so much. I can, I, can, I say three days, but I personally can find it very hard to not wash my hair after two days. So if you have to wash your hair, which we will sooner or later after two or three days, please use products like the Color Locker. Do you know that there's such a product called Color Locker? You apply this product on hair, on dry hair, just leave it on for one minute and then wash it off. And what you notice is this product will seal your cuticles and lock it. The color will not strip. You will not have the color bleeding thing when you shower and the color is just bleeding into your shower, you know. You won't have this problem. And we've tested it many times with the phytomelicine uh, color locker. The fading is so much lesser when you use this to lock in the color and you won't bleed so much. Yeah, and why is that possible? Because we use a very special patented ingredient called uh, the Red Love Apple Extract. Have you guys seen a Red Love Apple? You know red apples and green apples. When you cut apple, uh, you leave it out, and you open, the inside of the apple turns brown. But Red Love Apple is the most special apple with the highest antioxidant. It is, it is red on the outside and it's also red in the inside. How amazing. And we are the only ones in the world who use this ingredient in our entire phytomelazine range. So very special, very, very special. Yeah. Um, I'll show you a quick video on how to use this color locker. It's so easy.
So by using the Phytomelism Color Locker, you can keep your hair color lasting a much longer time. So for me, it's really good value for money, especially after I spend so much time and money on doing my color. I want it to last as long as I can and not fade so quickly. Then I've got to spend the same amount of money and time again. And nowadays, you want to stay home more, right? So really, this is a lifesaver for me. And you saw how the lady used it. You just use a small portion, which means this can last me for one month. So I use it every time I shampoo, which is every other day. This can last me at least a month to keep my hair color locked in, you know. And uh, by the way, for those who missed it, we'll be actually giving away a color locker, a mini version of it. So cute, right? This mini version plus the shampoo to 20 lucky winners um, today because we're celebrating National Day this Sunday. So we're being more generous because it's National Day. We're giving away a set. So just what you do, just like us, share, share, and um, tag five or more friends for a chance to win this. Okay, so I've got a question. Should I wash my hair before colouring my hair? So there's a lot of arguments. A different salons do it differently. I feel that you don't need to wash your hair before you colour. In fact, I prefer my hair to be a little bit greasy because it kind of acts as a protection as well to my scalp and my hair. Unless you told me oh, one week I didn't wash my hair, then I think you better wash first. But generally, let's just say we wash just the day before or two days before. It's really fine to just go ahead and colour your hair without washing first because I feel that the, there's a natural oil that helps to protect your scalp as well before you color. How often should we color our hair? Sophia is asking. I'm going to cover that actually in one of my tips, which is please don't color so often and just tune in for a little while longer and I'll tell you what is the most ideal number of times you should do it. Yeah. Mm. So moving along, <laughs> so moving along, uh, I just want to share with you a very special promotion because some people ask, oh, this kind of color locker must be very expensive, right? You know, um, how much does it cost? Well, usual price, it is a bit pricey, it's 65 But because it's National Day and we are on promotion because it's all the red stuff is on promotion. I'm just kidding. We're only selling it for $25. It's a really special offer because I realized that over, over the lockdown period, a lot of my customers buy a lot of our hair colors. I think it's time for you to retain it. So it's time for you to use products like this to lock in your colors so you don't have the colors so often. So yes, I am saying this, which means I will sell less colors, but I really want what's best for my clients. And I, re I really want what's best for you, which is don't not color so often. So please... Use this to lock in your colors so you don't have to color so often, be it whether you're using Fito or whatever, right? This is best and it's only for $25 on Fito.sg. So grab it while the promotion lasts. <coughs> Next tip. Tip number four. After we do a hair color, we really need to use a very special color care specific range. Why is that? After we color our hair, there's a lot of chemicals. It's very high in alkaline. We use a color, specific, a color care specific range because it's normally having ingredients which is acidic to counteract and neutralize the chemicals on our hair. That's one. It helps to then close and lock the hair cuticles and it should have products to treat your hair ends as well, which is going to be pretty damaged. Mm. So it's really important that we do that. Um, we use a color care specific range. You can use Fito, you can use any other ones, but just check the ingredients to make sure that it's really specific for color care because uh, it's really the way to go. And use a color care specific range for the first month after you color and then you should put it on one side. Do not continue using a color care range three months after your hair color or two months. Why? Because it's highly acidic. It should be highly acidic. And if it's highly acidic, it's not suitable to be used for a long period of time. Just for the first month after your color or your bleach or your highlight, that's enough. Then you put it aside and you'll use it again later when you color your hair. So that's the best way to go. So let me introduce you this very pretty, can you see my very pretty color care range, all in red? Yes, because this is the range that used the Red Love Apple. This range is very special. It's a four-step program to keep your hair color vibrant and light. 
Okay, we talked about the first step just now, which is the color locker. Just apply it before you shampoo for a minute, just one minute, so the color won't fade. Then you can wash with this shampoo, which is the Fito Millizim shampoo. I'm going to show you how it looks like. It's really nice, the colors, and it smells, mm, it has hibiscus in it. Smells really, really nice. Look at the milky texture. Very milky. And it has the Red Love Apple ingredient inside as well. So this is a fantastic product we can use as hibiscus. And I'm going to show you the hair mask. The hair mask is very creamy and very thick. Yep, an award-winning hair mask that we have. This hair mask can be used every other day, no problem. And lastly, we have two leave-on products. That's your step four. After you shampoo, you use the mask, and then you can use either of these products. The first one is the Beauty Concentrate, and the other one is the Mist, the Beauty Mist. Let me show you the difference. You choose either one, okay? So... This is the Beauty Concentrate, and this is the mist. Can you see? It's water-based. Yeah? So basically, which one do you choose? Those of you who have very thick hair or very dry hair, you need to use the Beauty Concentrate because it's thicker. Yeah? It's thicker. But those of you who have very, very fine hair, and the last thing you want is to weigh down your hair, then you can just go for the mist, and you can spray it on. Okay? So that's an easy way. You can choose either one that's suitable for you. Some of my clients, they choose both. Why? They use this cream at night and the daytime, they use the mist and they spray all over themselves because it's just a water-based mist. And both of them also locks in the color so that you can keep the color again vibrant and shiny for a much longer time. Mm. We have a question. Here, uh, are there colors to permanently cover gray hair? Yes, um, I think in the market, there's many brands. Fito hair color is ammonia free and it covers 100% of gray hair. I, uh, I'm not covering my gray hair. I'm letting my gray hair out. So I've stopped coloring for the last three years. <clears throat> for those of you who wants to color your hair, we have a Fito hair color. I can show you how it looks like. Um, it's very simple DIY hair color. We have 16 shades and they permanently cover um, hair color. So. The fetal color range, yep. How long will hair color can last if I use this range? Mm. So if you don't use this range, I can guarantee you within the first few weeks, the color will already fade. So depending on what, how harsh you treat your hair, whether you swim a lot, go out to the sun a lot, it, between two to four weeks, your hair is completely dull and there's no more vibrancy. If you use a color care range that is good, it will last double. You can you can pull the hair color vibrancy and radiance double the duration, which is great. Oh, Natasha, can I use Fito Rum when I color my hair? Fito Rum is a great product, but unfortunately, Natasha, it has been discontinued. We don't have that product anymore. Fito Rum was a shampoo for lifeless hair. Well, we have a replacement for it, but it's no more Fito Rum. It's called Fito Fener. It goes with the supplement. It's a Fito Fener shampoo for energy. So Fito Rum is no longer um being produced is so sad it's, i like it very much yep so moving along for tip number five number five basically means is you have to use leave-in products for those eh, Lynn, i don't want to use hair mask it's so troublesome i don't want to use color locker i just want to do something simple and easy so please use leave-in treatments okay you don't want to use the whole program too many steps because to just choose one, then I will recommend you please use leave-in treatments. Why? Because it's sui sen xie tai. Anytime, anywhere, you can use it. Just like your hand cream. You can apply on your hair every day, anytime, which I think will be the best thing. And it's so what you need because the hair treatment can treat your hair and it can keep your hair color retained. So for those of you who have budget constraint or just don't want the hassle of doing too many products, do a leave-in treatment. And for those of you who like to blow dry your hair or you want to use your straighteners, please don't forget that your hair is very, very sensitized and damaged. Please use a heat protectant 
whatever brand you may have, or kindly please use this phytocarotene repairing, it repairs the hair, plus it heat protects your hair up to 220 or 230 degrees Celsius, which is very high. So this protects your hair from the hair dryer's heat and the straighteners. So you can use this, yeah? It's really good and it's very important. Tip number six. Tip number six. Please try to wash your hair a bit lesser. I know what I tell you will not be very popular with my boss because we sell shampoos, but it's true and I must tell you the truth. Especially for the first month, it's better to wash your hair less. So most of us in Singapore like to wash our hair very frequently, sometimes once a day, sometimes even twice a day. I would strongly suggest you wash it every alternate days. The more we wash, the more it strips out our hair. Yes, so if we can, we can avoid washing too often, it'd be great. So don't use the detergent shampoo if it's too harsh. One of the tricks I use for the first month after I color, remember I'm just talking about the first month. The first month is very important. I will use a dry shampoo. There are many dry shampoos in the market. They're powder forms. Ours is a spray-on form. Yeah, so if you use a dry shampoo, it helps to kind of delay your shampooing. You know, so Monday you use your shampoo, your Millizim Color Care shampoo. Then Tuesday you spray your detox spray. And then Wednesday you use your shampoo and then, you know, you get my drift, so on and so forth. Because by doing that, you delay the shampoo, and you still don't feel so greasy. This product has kumquat, it has eucalyptus. It really helps to cleanse and refresh your hair. Plus, with COVID, it helps to sanitize your hair. This is antibacterial. Very good. So this is fantastic for us to use, and I suggest we use it so that we don't color our hair so often. Don't wash our hair so often, yeah? And if we wash our hair, I know we love our hot, hot showers, right? But you know, it's so, so bad for colored hair because you open up the cuticles and your hair will start bleeding even faster. Because you, hair, ma, you expand the hair because it's heat and you open up the cuticles, which is like a double whammy. Please don't do that. I know asking you to do a cold shower feels very miserable. Some people love it. It's like a challenge, like, you know, jumping into ice. But please, I understand. So you do your shampoo, you do your hair mask, you pin it up and then what you do is you will just go and um, wash your body in a hot shower and then you rinse off with cold water and like, like that lah. then you rinse off with cold water okay it's very important we rinse off with cold water your hair be very thankful for it why it closes the cuticles just like it closes the it closes the cuticles like closing the pores and your hair is more shiny so your hair be very happy and very thankful Mm. Yep. So a cold water rinse is really good for people with colored hair. Let me answer some questions. Hi, Kim Lan. You're saying, do you remember, do you recommend washing hair in the morning or the night? Okay. So I cannot say which is better. It's really your habit. Of course, based on what my mother tells me, don't wash hair at night. If you do, you need to blow dry. Don't let the air con blow your head directly. So I kind of agreed with that. I used to have a bad habit of doing that and I ended up having lots of headaches. Do you believe in old wives' tales? Well, if I wash at night, I will blow dry my hair. Why? Because firstly, if your hair is very thick, uh, very thick and very dense, and you don't blow dry and you sleep with your damp hair in your pillow, your hair, there's a smell that's stuck in your hair, which is not very recommended. So it's better to blow dry it. Yeah? My trick is to blow dry like left like 20% not so dry. Why? If you blow too dry, you sleep. The next day you wake up, your hair is a mess. And to re-blow it again, oh my God, it's a, it's a headache. You know, you go rush to work. So I would suggest you blow it 80% dry and leave it a little bit, a little bit damp and you sleep. Because then the next day it's still not so free stuff. You know, that's one of the things I would do. So it really depends on you. I cannot say which is better. Is my dry shampoo drying? Nope, it's not drying at all. It's very refreshing. You can see it's a water base. It's a water base. So it's not, ref it's not. in fact, I'll tell you, don't use too much. You know, use a little bit enough. Just, just spray on the hair, spray on the scalp, and then you just comb through. And then what it does, it refreshes your scalp. So you spray inside like that, you know? You spray in section by section, and then you just blow, and then you just comb. And then it feels so 
it feels quite short. Smells very refreshing because of the eucalyptus and gumquat, the orange, the small orange. So it's very refreshing. Yeah. Is it okay to dry hair naturally? Yes, but um, I also do that, la, honestly, at home. But if you can just takan a bit, you know, just blow a little bit. Don't have to blow totally dry. It really helps. For example, your hair won't be so flat and it have a nice shape. So sometimes some people, the hair is very thick or like me, not very thick. If you don't blow a bit, uh, it's very flat. Yeah, so I would suggest if you can, just blow a little bit just on the inside. Just the inside, near the roots, blow a little bit and just leave, you know, just towel dry the rest of the hair. You will see a lot of difference in terms of your hair. If you want more volume, you don't want your hair to be too damp. Mm. But it's really your choice. Yeah, on weekends, I really don't do it because it's, it takes up a lot of my time, right? Mm. Is it okay to use Fito RE30 even after I color my hair? That's a really good question, which I'm actually going to talk about. If you're using kind of any kind of hair tonic on your scalp or hair loss treatments, or like this RE30 is our product that helps to delay and reverse white hair, it contains alcohol. Although fetal alcohol is from beetroot, but no matter what, it still contains alcohol. And why does it contain alcohol? Because alcohol is the only ingredient that can help you penetrate into the skin without the stickiness. If you don't have the alcohol, it would have a sticky effect, which people do not like for leave-in scalp tonics, right? But alcohol will strip out hair color. So who was it that asked me? Yes, for you, uh, Jerome, if you color your hair just for the first week, Five to five days to a week, just stop the RE30 for, for a while and go back to it after that. And that's fine. Any of you who do any kind of scalp tonics or hair loss treatments, anything that applies on the scalp that contains alcohol, you will have to stop it for the first week after you color and then you can go back to it later. Mm. Yep. So can dry shampoo spray... You can use the dry shampoo spray even not for hair coloring. Of course, Ting Ting. Fito Detox Spray is for anyone, guy, girl, teenager, anyone who wants to clean their scalp between washes. So it's not just for colored hair. It's any kind of hair type can use. Mm. <laughs> I've got another question. Um, for people with dandruff problems and then they color their hair, how, what do they do? What do they use, right? So for those of you who are fighting dandruff or keeping dandruff at bay, you need to continue doing that because dandruff is bacteria. So I always emphasize if you have lots of problems, we must always treat dandruff first. But you can still use your color locker for your hair. You can still use hair mask and you definitely can still use the leave-in treatments for your hair. But maybe you skip, lah. you don't use the Millicim shampoo, you just use the Fito Squam dandruff shampoo or whatever dandruff shampoo you're using. You just keep to that. I think that's perfectly safe and fine. So you can still treat your dandruff and still have nice colored hair. Hmm. So back to my tips. Tip number eight. Tip number eight basically is, after your shampoo, you need to avoid the swimming pool and the beach. Yes. Please avoid it because you can't afford to go to a swimming pool. Chlorine is the problem. Chlorine is a chemical bleaching agent that cleans the swimming pool, right? Uh, it, will, it will totally ruin your hair, okay? So your hairdresser would advise you not to go into the pool. Those of you who bleach your hair definitely cannot touch the swimming pool. It is so, so bad for your hair, okay? But I know some of you are avid swimmers. How to, how to tolerate, how to tahan one month, don't swim. So after one week, go back to the pool, please use a shower cap or please use protection to your hair. Yeah. So do you know that Fito has sun protection? Did you know? There's sun protection for the hair. If you go to the sun, you put sunblock for your face, but why don't you protect your hair with sunblock? Hmm? So we have this product called the UV protection spray. We are the first in the world to create this product in 1974. Fito Plage UV Protection Spray. So you spray this, just spray on your hair as a UV protection when you go out to the sun because your work requires you to do it you're out with your kids in the park, in the hot, hot sun. You either wear a hat or you spray this on your hair to protect your hair from the sun. And after you go swimming, 
you need to wash off your chlorine. You know that chlorine stays on your hair and your skin, it doesn't go off. It takes days, sometimes even weeks, but chlorine just stays on you. You know, there's this waxy feeling, right? You all agree with me, right? I'm not the only one who feels it when we swim. So you need to use the Fetoplage Sun Shampoo because this product removes chlorine from your head to your toe. means it washes from your hair, your face, and your skin because chlorine will stick on your hair and it sticks on your skin. And we don't like that feeling. So we can get rid of it easily when you use a uh, anti-chlorine uh, use a anti-chlorine shampoo yep so it's very important to avoid the sun and the swimming pool after you color okay please don't forget next tip which is number nine my ninth tip would be to answer sophia's question is we need to spread out the time that we are coloring okay this will not sit well with my hair salon customers but it's true. We need to not color so often. Yeah, but once we start coloring, we love the result. We want to keep coloring, right? Sometimes we want to change color, which is fine. But maybe we can do it not every month. We can do it maybe uh, once a quarter. We do it three to four times maximum per year. Then you're going to ask me, but Lynn, it's not possible. My hair color will be so faded. It's not pretty anymore. It's not nice. My roots are growing. How to tahan, how to wait for three to four months. It's ridiculous, right? So, I have a solution for you. For you to spread out your hair coloring. I'm going to spin my table around like a lazy Susan. Ta -da -da -da. You can't see it very well, but it's okay. I'll give you a hint of it. I brought in this product from Fito. You know, Fito is an international brand and we have this um, sister brand called Kidra by Fito. And Kidra by Fito is sold in all the hair, top hair salons in Europe and it's sold in Russia, etc. But not sold in Singapore. But I brought in this particular range called Kidra Sweet Color Hair Mask. This is a very special hair mask which contains colors inside. Yeah, so it's a color treatment mask. I believe now in Singapore, only hair salons sell you this color mask and they will kind of mix it up, the colors, and they say, okay, this is suitable for you. I mix the color and this it sells you like, what, I don't know, 60 bucks for one type of mask, which is kind of pre-mixed to a particular color that suits your color. I don't know whether you're familiar with that. Anyway, this is something that we have. And this is a very special treatment mask. It comes in six different colors. Okay, let me share them with you. We have the first color is called the chocolate fondant. You know, fondant chocolate. Chocolate fondant. This chocolate fondant color is really great for people with dark brown hair, chocolate colored hair, cocoa hair, brown hair. Okay, what it does is, um, what it does is, it's a hair mask. You apply, you leave it on for like five, ten minutes and you rinse it off. It gives you a new radiant hair color, like as though you just colored your hair without the chemicals, without doing the actual coloring. So it, it won't last forever. It's not a permanent, but it will last for four to six washes, which means it will last from one to, to two weeks, right? If you wash your hair every other day, it's one to two weeks. So this product is very special. Okay, so I have this first shade, which is for dark, dark shade. And then we have praline. Um, this is called the uh, soft praline. And this is good for people who want a bit of uh, toffee, caramel, um, chestnut, hazelnut hair colors. So it's quite different. You see, one is chocolate, rich chocolate. The other one is caramel toffee shades. Mm. And then we have one that is for reds. So those of you who love your reds. We want to have red, mahogany, purple, maroon colors. You can use the raspberry caviar. Okay, and then we have one for, um, this is called the Cinnamon Supreme. For those of you who have bronze, copper, a bit of gold finish, or uh, gold hair, and you like it really golden on your highlights, you can use this. Red heads, you know. And then you have those who are blondes, who wants to go blonde, okay, all the kinds of um, highlights and blondes, you want to brighten it, you can use the sweet honey version. 
And lastly, for the last shade is Arctic Berry. Arctic Berry is good for people who want to go grey, ash, bleach like me. So let me show you some of the results we got just by using this product one time. This is me la. <laughs> this picture is mine. The before picture is very yellow. I'm not sure whether you can see it clearly. But after using the hair mask, my hair looks very grey and very little yellow. Yeah, I don't know if you can notice, but it's just one wash. Uh, yeah, Yi Ming is a new product, new product to Singapore. It's not new to the Fito family. It's been around quite some time, but it's never been sold in Singapore before. This is the first time. Yeah. So this product is fantastic. Just one use of the hair mask, my color is less yellow. And because it's a hair mask with mango butter, my hair feels very smooth and very soft. Mm. So the next one, this lady is in her 60s and she is using the fondant chocolate, the fondant chocolate, the fondant chocolate um, mask. You can see her hair, she's growing out her white hair at the moment. So it's a bit messy. She has a bit of leftover colored hair. She's growing out her hair. There's a bit of white and black. It's a mix, a bit of a mess. So she just used this hair mask the chocolate one, to help her get through this whole process of growing out her white hair, you know, and it just makes it look much neater and better and not so messy. Another example we have is the lady, a customer who used the raspberry red. This one was quite nice. She had colour her hair brownish, copperish, but she didn't want it to be copper anymore because it looks very faded, right? The one that's before. So she went home and she just used the hair mask just for a few minutes and she rinsed it off and just overnight her hair become red you know it's so beautiful like as though she went to the hair salon and just colored her hair so to me this is fantastic because i don't have to color my hair so frequently i can use things like this um a color treatment mask to go in between so i can use this maybe during the towards the end of my second month to prolong it for another month, you know? Then I can color my hair after three months. You get it? And uh, how much is this? This is 20, 29.90. This is 29.90. I mean, 29.90 and it's as good as my hair looking like it's just colored for that one or two weeks. I think it's fantastic. It's a great deal, don't you think? Just do it yourself at home. Just use it like a hair mask and use it, use it once a week or once in two weeks very easy and your hair looks as good as new i don't know i think for 2990 is a fantastic deal and it's oh sorry i need to tell you that's only available in on online Fito sg and only available in our stores my beauty paris uh, ion and my beauty paris parkway because it's a small range we brought in of course if it's popular we will have more quantity and maybe sold everywhere else but for now we only limited the distribution to these three points to see um, the demand of this new product that we just launched so you're the first to know yeah okay my last tip my last tip i have to share with you which is based on my research before i do any of my hair talks i always make sure i go and do my research mm, to make sure i check my facts before i share with you guys and all of them always says, and I'm going to say it, is to have a healthy diet, right? A diet that has a good balance of iron, vitamin A, and vitamin Bs. Mm, iron could get, you can get iron from lean meat, egg white, fish, low-fat cheeses, leafy greens like spinach, soy, nuts. Vitamin A's, uh, you can find them in spinach as well, carrot, bell peppers, apricots, sweet potatoes, fish. And of course, omega-3, you need it as well, fish, uh, and vitamin Bs, the whole vitamin B complex. Uh, so for me, uh, it's very hard lah, because I love my hawker food so much. So I just take the easy way out and I just use my <laughs> Vito Fernet. I just eat the Vito Fernet two a day in the morning and that's it. Uh, I don't have to worry about all these things. And it's not going to help you. I will not put on any weight with this product. And it just helps me not worry about, am I eating the right amount of nutrients for my hair and my nails? So this twice a day, uh, two capsules a day just 
resolves it for me. Very easy. Okay, um, Wendy's asking, will my hair be very dry? You mean after you use the mask? But this is a hair mask, so it will not be dry. It's a hair mask, so it's actually softer. It is conditioning because it has mango butter. So it's got a conditioning treatment effect plus the color as well. So it's um, not drying. In fact, yeah, it's good. Shireen is asking me, any tips to minimize gray hair? We had a whole episode on that. Uh, check back. I don't know, episodes like two or three or four, but we talked all about delaying and treating of gray hair and aging hair. There's one whole episode on it. You can check it out. But let me tell you, Shireen, the product you can look at will be the same product that Jerome is using, which is Fito RE30. Fito RE30 is a product that we created. We took six years to make the product. It was launched two years ago. Huge success. It's still very popular now. It helps to delay your white hair. And some of you, if you're lucky, it even helps to reverse your white hair. I've got clients coming to me, showing me parts of the hair that is black at the roots and the, the hair that's growing out is white. So they actually start to grow their hair back in black color. So that's pretty amazing. So that's RE30. We also sell it online. We sell it all over Watson's. We have it in Watson's, Robinson's, Takashibaya, and all the online stores. Mm, so that's a great product you can consider uh, looking at. So we need to um, announce the winners, right? I finished my top 10 tips. If any questions, I've answered everyone's questions. So I need to announce the five winners who would uh, walk home. Not walk home, like you will get a chance to go and pick up this set of products. Ta -da -ta -ta. Can you guys see? Mm. It's a color locker and a shampoo. So we have five winners. Yes, Jerome, correct. Use Ari 30. Thank you so much. I hope it's giving you good results. A lot of our customers really like it. Yeah, so Shireen, you can consider using that. Mm. So I'm so happy that I can answer so many of your questions today. And uh, I'd like to announce the five winners. Mm, welcome. The five winners are... The first one is Lim Li Kian. Lim Li Kian, congratulations, you won this. And we second winner is Jerome. Why it sounds so very good? I don't I don't pick the winners. <laughs> so I'm like, oh yeah, Jerome. Yeah, third winner is Ting Ting. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Ting Ting, congratulations. The fourth winner is Sing Ya Joy Ng. Sing Ya Joy Ng, congratulations. And the fifth winner is Jovia Tan. Jovia Tan. So the five of you, congratulations. And um, we will be in contact with you. Please private message uh, Fito SG so that we can connect with you for how you can redeem um, your gift. As well as um, we hope to see you very soon. Next Tuesday for Fito Hair Talk, remember I, I said we're going to talk about hair coloring. So are you using the right hair color for your skin? You know, it's a very interesting topic and we're going to talk about it more in depth, choosing the right hair color for you. And this Thursday, in two days' time, I have a very special guest for Fito Passion Project. It's a mompreneur, a very successful leader at a PR firm called Brand Seller. So Brand Seller is very famous for marketing the Michelin guide, the Michelin star guide, and also creating all the long, crazy queues in restaurants. So... We're going to meet my dear friend, Miss Joanne Ng, uh, Miss Joanne Ho. And this Friday, just for the fun of it, we're going to be on Shopee Live. Any of you go online to buy in Shopee? So Shopee Live, I'll be sharing how we can care for dry hair and dry skin. We have a Fito store on Shopee Live and we'll be there at 12, 12 o'clock this Friday, just before our long weekend. And you can stand a chance to win Shopee shopping vouchers. So. I've spoken a lot today. Thank you very much for being with me and being so supportive and making so much comments and sharing so much. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Each of our live shows, we always do a lot of giveaways. So please join us. 
And I, tr I will always try to make it very informative and very educational so that we all can go home with a lot of better tips and tricks to take care of our hair and our scalp. So until then, I'm Lin Tan. Thank you for being with me tonight. And I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us Nothing's gonna top this Nothing like we've ever seen